Welcome and welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amina Taqi and I am an Associate Nutritionist. The aim of this show is for us to be able to provide you with all the information that you need to be able to improve your health um, and achieve a balanced um, lifestyle. With all the different information that we come across when it comes to nutrition, it's very important for us to have the right knowledge and the right tools to be able to distinguish what's right and what's wrong and what is it that works for us. And this is what this program aims to do, to give you those skills to make those choices that will help you to improve your health in the long run. Today's topic is all about how to achieve um, a how to get the right portions of the different foods. We've spoken about how to achieve a balanced diet and what are the different components of a balanced diet. The next step is, well, we need to know how much to eat of all of the different foods and what are the different portions for each of the different food groups that we spoke about. So when it comes to portions, Remember that when we're fasting and then we've got a limited amount of time when we break our fast, we might not be able to always achieve all of those portions. And that's why these are just a general guide, guidance and general guidelines for us to follow that will generally get us enough of the nutrients that we need. So we're going to first start by focusing on fruits and vegetables and the portions of fruits and vegetables. Now, the recommendation in the UK is to have a minimum of five portions of fruits and vegetables every day, with a maximum or the more the better uh, when it comes to the portions of uh, fruits and vegetables. Up to nine portions, ten portions have shown that the more that we have, the better it is for our body, the better our body is able to um, improve health in the long run. So, what is considered one portion of, fru of fruit or vegetable? Um, one portion is whatever fits in the palm of your hand. That's normally considered one portion, which is around 80 grams. So one small apple, for example, or um, eight cherry tomatoes, an eight centimeter cucumber, um, things like a salad. It just depends on how big your bowl is, but it's around a handful um, is considered one portion. Three tablespoons of cooked vegetables, things like mushroom, for example, peas, three tablespoons is considered one portion. Now, remember when we say the five to nine or five to 10 portions of fruits and vegetables, it doesn't mean five to nine portions fruits and five to nine portions vegetables. It's a combination of both the fruits and vegetables, depending on what you prefer. So always try to aim for at least five, especially during the month of Ramadan. The um, next portions are portions for milk and dairy. Now, the milk and dairy provides calcium for the body, so two to four portions every day. What is considered one portion? One glass of milk is considered one portion. Um, if it's something like cheese, then it's uh, two thumbs worth size of cheese or one matchstick size box of cheese is considered one portion. One small, of, one small pot of yogurt is also considered one portion. So try to have two to three uh, portions of those. As for proteins, proteins, the recommended every day over 24 hours is two to four portions. What is considered uh, one portion of protein? It depends on the type of protein, but generally it's whatever fits the size of the palm of your hand. Or um, so that's things like fish, um, meat, chicken. If it's, if it's something like um, beans, legumes, then it's the three tablespoons of the cooked version that is considered um, to be one portion. Two eggs is one portion um, of protein. As for the fats, um, fats generally tend to be things like oils or spread, and the general recommendation is two teaspoons of that. Um, that's considered one portion of fats. As for the carbohydrates, carbohydrates, one slice of bread, is considered one portion. A two tablespoons of cooked rice or pasta is considered one portion. Now, it's important to um, realize that we can tend to overeat pasta or rice, but two tablespoons is considered one portion. Um, as for things like chocolate, chocolate will be a combination of both fats and um, carbohydrates. Um, four squares or one small bar is considered one portion. 
Now, how much should we, how much portions should we have in terms of the fats and the carbohydrates? That's going to differ for each individual, but generally it's four to eight portions of the fats and the carbohydrates. Sometimes we tend to overeat on the carbohydrates and forget about the fats, um, but it's important to try and aim for a balance with all of the different foods. And remember, there's different things for different people. So some people have bigger hands, some people have smaller hands. And it's just a general, guide, uh, general guidance for us um, to get the right portions. So try definitely to aim for at least you know, five, the five portions of fruits uh, or vegetables, the two portions of milk, two, um, two portions of uh, protein, and also fats and carbohydrates um, as part of your overall intake for the day. So that's it for today's uh, topic. I hope uh, now you've got uh, the right information and knowledge of how much you should be eating of all the different food groups. Thank you for joining us and Mass Salama.